This year, USG is making some changes to give student government members more of a voice. Reporter Sarah Hansen talked to USG about why this change matters. The decorated Truesdale lawn can only mean one thing. USG elections are underway. But this year, some things are a little different. There are changes happening within USG. Most notable is a change to the structure of the Senate. Logan Dallas, USG co-director of elections and recruitment, explains the change. Um, instead of having constituencies in the past like we did, we had Greek, commuter, and residential senators. This year there's going to be no constituencies, so we'll just have ten sen or 12 senators working on every type of project that they want to. In addition to the unified Senate, there are two new changes. Current USG members can now openly endorse candidates. And the campaign time has been dramatically shortened. We figure that the people who work for our organization know best who is qualified to do the job. Students and senators alike are widely in agreement of USG's new campaign changes. They feel it will present a better platform for the representation of the student population at USC. But Dan Lee, a residential senator in USG, says a shortened campaign time could present some challenges. Uh, in the past, uh, they will choose uh, between three to six candidates, but now they have to uh, choose 12 candidates. Will they have enough time to uh, uh, know um, adequately about each candidate and make an educated uh, decision? Students at USC are generally satisfied and expect further changes in campus climate. I like the changes personally just because it doesn't separate all the different uh, just parts of campus like residential, Greek. When you're divided, you really can't stand independently as like one student body. And I agree that members of USC should be able to endorse candidates. Campaigning will continue until voting begins on February 9th. For Annenberg Media, I'm Sarah Hansen.